Hello, welcome to the vlog. It's Monday, it has been a long day. I just cut Jack's hair, which he filmed for his YouTube channel. And it actually looks quite good, I'm quite chuffed. It looks not bad, eh? Yeah. It looks neat. That's, it does look really neat. It's just nice and short now as well, and hopefully that will last you until Jack Baxter's back in our lives. As a wee trade, say, Jack gets to shave his wife's neck. I don't think I use this guard. I think I just go... Are you sure? Let me show you a before and after. Oh, God. <laughs> so, there's a before. That is such a wee guy here. <laughs> oh, a lot comes out. Look at that. Oh, God. Oh, God. <gasps> Jack! What? Careful. What? Careful. Careful with what? Watch you don't cut my hair you did last time. I won't. I need to try and get right up to the line though, so if some bits go, you can't blame me. No, I, I can. Don't get my hair. I'm trying not to, but if some bits go, you can't blame me. Yeah, I can. Because I'm not a professional haircut. Jack, you're really going ham. I'm not. Oh, you're pure chucking me about. Oh, mm. you got... <gasps> I can't <know. laughs> What is that? Is that attached to a heat? A different team that. Jack! You're always going to catch a wee No, tiny you're part. not. Jack Baxter never did. You've got so much of it, you always catch a wee tiny part. Don't be jealous. See, because I'm not jealous. Don't be jealous. <gasps> it's not. I'm looking at it. It's fine. Basically, you've got, you've got like this wee part here that meets your other hair. So as soon as I touch a tiny wee bit of other hair, it's getting it right at the, the base. I want you to stop. It's getting it right I want you to base. stop. Why? I don't want you to do you it anymore. You don't want to stop. Trust. I'm so upset. <gasps> so I don't want you to go in with no guard. I'm just hiding at the bottom. I'm not doing the no guard up the top. Oh god, I'm so hairy. Ow, you're Sorry. bleeding too heavy. Sorry. I should have sore. Okay, I should. Looks good. So. And the after. You're a wee bit red again, but you do look like a... Yeah, I didn't mean that. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> it looks good though. It looks nice and fresh. Look at that shit. You look like a right wee rebel. Yes. Not a wee guy anymore, a wee rebel. This is going from bad to worse. Bad to worse. Why is that so short? Do you see this? Put that there. Like, watch what happens when I take my bun out. This is what happened last time. I need Jack Baxter back here. Oh my god, I should not let him do that. Oh, I can't even remember if I said welcome to the vlog or not yet. It's Tuesday night. Monday and Tuesday are my, like, Zoom meeting days at the moment. I have a feeling when things get back to normal, I think that... You know, some Mondays and Tuesdays I might be in London with the team, but at the moment I just do Zoom meetings. I just do so many Zoom meetings. I had a cool interview today as well, which is great. And yeah, it's just like, just Zoom meetings. I don't even know what else to say. I also have been talking a lot about making this plan, trying to be organised for moving house. Which, we still don't have it in writing yet and it's freaking me out if I'm honest, but I think it's going to be fine. I think we'll find, I think tomorrow, well everything will be fine. <laughs> I'm going to film tomorrow, I'm going to film, I think I want to film an empties video, but I don't know, I'm still pondering. And then on Thursday, I'm going to finally do my closet clear out. I have not looked through my closet, or my clothes, do we call it a closet in Scotland? I've not looked through my wardrobe for a really long time. There's definitely stuff in there that doesn't fit me anymore. There's definitely stuff in there that has tags on it that if I've not worn it yet, I probably won't wear it. I need to slimline. I've got, honestly, about 30 black t-shirts. Don't need 30 black t-shirts. So that's happening on Thursday. I've scheduled my time, so I, I think basically I'm gonna have a busy, like, week and a half, two weeks of filming, getting all my work prepped, done, signed off so we can afford to have a little bit more chill time, a little bit more vlog time for when we move. Do you know what I mean? I feel well tired today. I managed to get so much done yesterday and today, which unfortunately it means that there's nothing to vlog because I literally, I've just been in these for this room. These four walls, my friends. Um, but I managed to get loads done, which means I have a little bit of a easier week for filming it's gonna be great it's gonna be great i'm running a wee bath i'm gonna have my bath i think i'm probably gonna have an early night tonight i'm feeling oh god yes last right i'll see you tomorrow it's wednesday my dudes La! i'm just doing my makeup oh so nice here i used a new cleanser yesterday i think my skin's loved it loved it it's the inky list oat cleanser 
And do you know what it reminded me of? Ultra Bland from Lush. Do you remember that? I used to use that all the time when I worked there, but it was a bit too heavy and a bit too greasy for me. I'm going to keep on using it and I'll let you know, but that brand as well, it's really affordable. I finally sat down and I planned out what I'm doing pretty much every single day up to the move. And I'm just doing a nice natural face. And I'm filming today, I'm filming my empties video. I've been collecting all my empty products. Like, this is... It's so heavy and I love watching these because it's all fine like watching what people are using but I like seeing what people finish because I'm like well you flipping loved that didn't you? And I've just done all my emails that I had to do this morning and today the plan is film, Jack's going to edit, I'm going to upload it, I'm going to clean my makeup room so it's back to like spotless because I'm packing it next week and I'm also going to film that. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at my diary and I was like, right, okay, how much time have I got? And it's literally, it's less than three weeks. I need to do a closet clear out because I only want to take stuff that I, I want into the new house, if that makes sense. I've not done a closet clear out in a long time. I've got a lot of like really old clothes that I've not worn in a long time. I've got a lot of new stuff that we can donate. Like we just need to do that. So I'm doing that tomorrow. And then I was thinking, I was like, right, so once I've done that, I'll have slimmed back my wardrobe a lot and then I'll just pack it. And I was like, what am I going to wear until we move? Moving's like hard. I've not done it. I've not moved house since me and Jack moved into this house. We moved from a really small flat into this house. So do you know what I mean? We had like not as much stuff. Like I actually think we had one van load. Didn't really have any furniture. That we got like one of our, the couch that we had in that flat, we got on Gumtree or eBay or something. And it was done in, so that got let, like, we didn't, I don't think we really brought any furniture. Our bed frame was like that cheap metal Ikea one. So we gave that away. We've got a lot more stuff basically. We've got a lot more stuff here. Like our couch will do us great. And even if we get a new couch, We'll probably still keep that couch and put it somewhere else, do you know what I mean? And at the same time, I was thinking about this, I am so excited to like decorate and get some new stuff because I've not bought any new furniture or done any decorating for about a year and a half. And that's because that was when we realised that we were going to be moving, so we kind of just stopped decorating this house how we would like it because we knew we'd be moving. We didn't want to like spend the money, I guess, and, and put the effort in. So we've just been like working away while we've lived here, but this next house we have big plans. Maybe not big plans, but like there's a couple of like renovation things that we want to do. We're just gonna put the effort in, I guess, and it's gonna take us a long time. I'm so excited for this next chapter. I just don't think it's sunk in properly yet. I think it will once we've booked our movers and everything and everything's properly in boxes then it will sink in. And there is still like part of me that's just a tiny bit sad because I, I do really love this house and we've got so many amazing memories here. It served us so well and there's parts of this house that I will miss because it's not the same as the next house if that makes sense. Like we're quite out in nature here which I'll miss. I like being a country bumpkin. I feel like we're just going to be slightly all over the place until we move, but it's going to be so worth it. And I'll keep you updated on how I'm getting on. Okay, so today we tackle the bathroom and it looks like there's still quite a lot of stuff in here, but this is all just stuff that I'm planning on using up. I've got some of my skincare bits that I'm using just now, some body scrubs, which I'm obsessed with. Again, face wash, body wash, my hair stuff. I'm still loving the Function of Beauty. I've not stopped using it since I got it because I wanted to really test it out, but my hair really likes it. Some bath stuff. And that's kind of what we've left for the moment. And I think that that's fine. I've also changed over to this bath caddy, which is really kindly gifted from Declear. The main thing that we tackled in here, because I think I'm going to continue to use these. The main thing that we've got rid of is the little stand that was here with um, kind of like toilet rolls on it. And then I've cleared loads of this space. So we've got our towels that we're using. I think it's time to buy some new towels when we move, you know. <laughs> Stocked up on toilet roll. <laughs> I promise we're not one of those people that hoards toilet paper. This is just a couple of Jack's baskets that he's ready, but in here, is empty now. We've literally just got our soap and our toothbrush. This is really nice, the Jo Malone Poppy and Barley body and hand wash, so we're using that up. So it doesn't look like it's completely empty, but I promise it is. We've got some stuff in the shower that we're just using up. We've got the, the dog's Kiehl's shampoo and conditioner because we're going to give them a nice bath. But this was a lot more cluttered and then up here we've just got our plants which will move. We've got a lovely little rose quartz. Bring some love into the bathroom. 
So yeah, this is good. It feels echoey in here. We're starting to really strip it back. It's all happening. It is all happening. So up here, I showed you this last time. So this is just a big empty room. This is actually our old bed frame, which we've taken apart. And we were gonna get rid of it, but actually we're gonna leave it here for the next people that are moving in. <laughs> Random chair here. And then there was the long Ikea unit here, which has the like ducats, which we have cleared out. We've taken it downstairs. And this little ducat was Jack's desk and all of his equipment, which has been all packed. And then we're literally just a mattress on the floor at the moment. There is nothing here. We've got our wee bedside tables, which actually I think we'll just leave them uh, for the next people as well. I've got my wee bottle of water. Oh, worth mentioning. <laughs> See this? This is the Apothem Multi Skin and it's actually got CBD, it's got 400 milligrams of CBD in it and it is absolutely amazing. I had, what was it again? It was, I was washing my hands so much that my knuckles got all chapped. I used that balm on my knuckles and honestly they healed up overnight. So if you get chapped skin, really, really good. Wow, I'm dirty today. Our bedroom's like empty. It's so weird. This is our wee ensuite, which we actually never really used. Um, and we didn't do anything to it. Oh my god, it looks spooky in there. This has been all cleared. It's all empty apart from Jack's dressing gown. <laughs> and that's it, guys. What's going on? Are we going to move out? Do you know, guess what? Oh, you've got a wee hair on your snoot. You've got loads of hairs on your snoot. Oh. <laughs> you want to go to bed? You want to go to bed? Oh. Drogba went to the vets last week and he's doing so good this week. He's so much better. So he's going back for his jags on Tuesday. So nearly a week. Look at this, we get him. Hello. I love you. I finally made my plan for before we move. So I know exactly what I'm doing pretty much every single day up until we move. And tomorrow it is time to declutter my wardrobe. I've not done it in a really long time. I don't even think I've barely looked at like at what I own and I wear <laughs> the same the same stuff over and over again. So the plan is tomorrow I'm gonna to declutter, which will really scale down my wardrobe and then I think I'm gonna start packing it. I mean I need to at one point, uh, one thing that I really have not thought about is the fact that I'm going to be without a lot of stuff for quite a while. Like, I'm going to have a makeup bag that's just like my basic face. Clothes wise, I guess I'll just like leave out two outfits and just wear them and wash them and rotate it. I was even thinking today when I was going through the bathroom, I realised that, you know, I'm going to have my last bath in my bathroom and I really actually love that bathroom. Yeah, it's so strange. It is. It's like bittersweet. It's, it's cool though. It's really really exciting. I just posted an Instagram story asking for questions that for me to answer for a Q&A as part of my last, it'll be my last ever makeup video I film in this house which is just so nuts uh, and I'm doing that on Friday because my makeup room which I'm going to film packing. I kind of need to do that soon because it's probably got the most amount of stuff in it. I'm hoping it won't take me longer than like a day or two. I've put in two days of my diary to pack it right up because I, I want to be quite smart about it. I don't want to have, you know, I don't want to just fill boxes randomly. I want to be quite smart so when we move, all our stuff's quite organised. Like if I come down and show you like the kitchen we started packing a while ago and we've done well. Like, we don't really have that much stuff out at the moment. But there's a few things that we need to buy new of anyway, like our microwave. We never bought a microwave. My mum and dad gave us that, I think, when we lived in our flat. So like we need to buy a new microwave. Our toaster and our kettle are done in. So there's loads of stuff like that that I never wanted to buy a new version of that for this house because I knew we'd be moving, but now we're moving. I'm like, oh my God, I get to pick a new toaster. So it's really not that bad. It doesn't feel like we're cluttered. So this is Jack's desk. I got this, I think from made.com and it took five weeks to get to our house. And I like it, but it's quite small. But we've still got all our storage. This is the unit I was talking about from upstairs, the Ikea one. And these are all, I think, empty. Yeah. There were just boxes everywhere. <laughs> oh God. And then through here, we've just got all our boxes as well. So we're doing great. This is like an empty unit, so we just need to pack this away. Bathroom, like I said, is getting there. This makeup room, I'm like nervous of showing anything that's not meant to be shown yet. This is just gonna take a long time to pack. It's cool as well, because the layout of all the rooms that we have at the moment, everything in the new house is different. It's a completely different layout than this house. 
I think everything about it's different really. Our new house is so livable, it's gorgeous, but it's just like decorating and stuff that we need to do mostly. A couple of bits of rewiring I think. We'd love to get a new kitchen. Anyway, we'll go through all that later, I'm rushing ahead. I have been loving watching Anna, the Anna edit, uh, because she just moved, her and Mark just moved into their new house. I highly recommend watching her, especially times like now. Her videos are so calm and she is such like an organised person that watching her makes me think I'm like, I'm going to be more organised. I'm going to be like that. Oh my god, I even bought all her stationery that she brought out with uh, Appointed which is like like to-do lists and stuff, but it's so nice that I want to save it for the new house, so I'm not going to get it out yet. But I've been really, I've been watching loads of Anna's videos on her moving, packing, unpacking, and it's really inspired me. And I'm really, really glad that I watched her wardrobe video. I'll link it below because that's the one I just watched today, just like 10 minutes ago. And it was just really nice to see how she organised it all. And also it made me realise like I have so many clothes that I just don't need anymore. I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed by everything today. I think it's because this room's such a mess. I think I'm gonna clean this room tonight, but I'm such a control freak and I know exactly what everything is and where it all is that I don't want help. I don't want to do it myself. <laughs> Pretty exciting though. Anyway, after showing you the bathroom and the bath, I really want a bath and I need to wash my hair because my fringe has been sitting on my head all day. Usually my fringe is up and out my face, but I've had it like this today, so it's a bit greasy and it needs a wash. Hello, it's me again. So I've just washed my hair. I used the shampoo and conditioner, the Function of Beauty, and then I brushed my hair and I put through the IGK Good Behaviour 4-in-1 Prep Spray. So it's a heat protector, a detangler, 24-hour frizz control and shine spray in one. And I've used this, I don't know if you can see it. I can't even see. I think I've used it down to about here. And then I brush my hair through and I take one pump of the Davines Oi Oil. I've spoke about this for a really long time. I really love it. I'm going between this one and the Living Proof, the new Frizz Vanishing Oil. But I think that this one is really nice when I've got dry hair. The combination of those products plus my heat protection, I'll use the, I've got it here. But this is Curly Ever After. So GHD have Curly Ever After, which is their new heat protection that holds your curls. But I also use Bodyguard, which is another heat protection. I've been using that every time before I style my hair. And you know what? I think it's done pretty good considering can't get to the hairdressers, can't get to Jack Baxter to give me a trim. My hair actually feels really quite nice. I'm halfway through the live action 101 Dalmatians. And then I literally just saw on Instagram that they're doing a prequel called Cruella and Emma Stone's Planer and I'm very excited. We've left the abode. We're making it a priority to have fun in like, and by that I mean <laughs> eat. <laughs> eat food. We're going to pick up a pizza. This place is apparently the best pizza that a few of my friends who are well-traveled in pizza it's their favourite pizza they've ever had. What's it called? Canotto. Canotto pizza. Canotto. In the south side of Glasgow. We're going to go and pick it up. We love pizza in this house. We'll be able to... Um, we've got pizza, we've got garlic bread, we've got a wee anti-pasty box. The only thing we didn't get was juice or anything. Shit. You can ask them for that. You can ask them for that I when you go in. in. Yeah, you can. Win. You yeah, can. you can. I will. Look, There's I've got literally the... shorts on. It's actually freezing outside. So it's five degrees outside. Finished my closet clear out, which I mentioned. Going, huh? Jamie from the future here. You did mention it about five or six times. I know, are you trying to race us or something? Look at him, look at him! I know, Will, he's in such a rush. I know, no one's in that much of a rush right now, sir. guy <laughs> crossing the road he's still creeping for. He's actually still creeping for. He's going to be away in the middle of the road. <laughs> 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 Woo! Well, fun. Oh, it's just nice to be out the house. I'm having one of those days where I just so wish that everything was back to normal. Going through my clothes, I was seeing like, do you know what I was looking at, Jack? I have I had all my like bikinis and swimming suits and stuff that I bought for Bali last year that we never got to go on. It's just it's a bit grim, isn't it? A bit grim. I'm trying not to moan though, I know how lucky I am, but it doesn't it doesn't make it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. 
also made a huge mistake of asking on Instagram when everyone thought we'd be able to, uh, you know, wear a nice outfit somewhere. I like just positive vibes and people are like, oh my god, it's summer. Summer is going to be better. October is going to be better. And then there was a handful of people that were like, it's never going to be better. And I was like, oh man, shut up. It has to be. It has to be. Just think about it like this and this helps me every day that you wake up and you, you know, you get on with it. It's a day closer to things being back to normal again. There's a nice German boy. Oh, nice German boy. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so hungry. Get me home now. Is that for me? Yeah. San Pellegrino. Yeah. This smells great, Jack. Smells I'm, glad good. We got, I'm glad we got a whole pizza. What, what were you on about? Buy the slice. Oh, see this? This is the small things. What a little delight. Oh, and look, that guy just let us in. He knows that we've got hot pizza. <laughs> We need to get home. Oh, food. San Pellegrino for me, Coke for you. Antipasti. Oh, nice, look. It looks very legit. Cute. Meats and cheeses. What was that? Jack's fave. And we've also got olives and sun-dried tomatoes. So Garlic bread. <gasps> Whoa. What? Yeah. I had one too many glasses of wine last night. I was just having so much fun. We were in the living room with the music on, uh, playing games, having a glass of wine. Then we watched a film. I fell asleep on the couch, went to my bed and I woke up with such a bad headache today. We are on one last trip to Ikea before we move. For Glasgow, press one so that we can locate your order. Please enter your 10 digit order number now. Oh God, I think we just... Can we talk about food really quickly? McDonald's? What do you want? What do you feel like? I don't know whether I mm -hmm. can get a banana milkshake. <laughs> do you think? Mm -hmm. Last hurrah, last hurrah, and then do you know what? See on Monday, I'm starting my day with yoga again. Sounds good. I fell off, I fell off the wagon. It's the same. I do the same three days over and over again. And then as soon as I start to get at all sore, I'm like, I have a day off. I honestly infuriate myself. We we'll really enjoy dinner tonight. And then I'd like to make more of an effort to eat more nutritious meals. I don't think I eat enough fruit or vegetables. But I feel like next week is going to be super busy with parking. That's our last full week in the house. <laughs> it's our last full week in the house. New beginnings, ahoy. It's really, really, guess what I'm going to say. Just guess. It's really, really exciting. I can't wait. I've actually had a really nice relax. I think uh, my little, you know, just lie down on the couch this morning was so great. I was just watching some YouTube videos that I like. Didn't look at my emails, didn't look at my texts. Just had a wee bit of me time. I can't remember the last time that I had a day not on my phone for work, honestly. So that was a really nice morning. And already I feel more inspired and I don't know, I just feel better. Make sure you do things that you enjoy, guys. Right, that's all from me. Thanks for hanging out. See you next week. Hi guys. It's Jamie on Sunday, the day that we're uploading this. I just sat and reviewed the vlog and... <sighs> I think that this this week was quite stressful for a few reasons and I think that it comes across quite a lot. Uh, in hindsight, <laughs> I honestly really annoyed myself watching this back. I can just see that I'm so like tired and a bit miserable. Um, and I hate, I don't know, I was watching it and I just thought I come across really woe as me and I, I really didn't like it. Um, I'm going to upload it because that, that's what this week was like. Um, I didn't enjoy my mood. Um, there was a few days this week that I really felt not not good. Um, really stressed out um, and a bit upset on some days. But I guess that I guess that's that's what's going on at the moment. I don't know. I was just watching it back and I I didn't love my attitude. I think that. Um, I don't know why I'm finding it so tricky just now. And I think there's just like a lot, a lot of change going on. I really miss my friends and my family. Super hard for everyone. And do you know what? I get so annoyed with myself because it's, um, it's difficult to always have perspective, I think. Um, sometimes I'll feel like sad about everything that's going on and then I'll realise how lucky we are compared to so many people and then I'll get angry with myself for even being sad in the first place and it's just, it's, I just don't even know how to process it. 
because I think that ultimately it's not good to never let yourself just feel what you want to feel if you're constantly trying to say oh well I shouldn't be feeling like that because x y and z so I don't know I just struggled this week with it all yeah I'm really looking forward to a new week I suppose that's what happens when you weekly vlog right it's not always going to be peaches and cream but I, I do want you to know that I, I really do appreciate my life and our lives um, and I wish I could just be like upbeat and, and, and fun but I, like this week was just hard, it was just busy and you know I felt pulled apart in cer at certain times, quite an isolating time at the moment as well, you know we can't see anyone so sometimes it's just difficult but yeah I can't believe I got a bit sad there, I must have needed to have a wee cry. But next week's going to be so much better and if you've made it to the end of this vlog then thanks <laughs> and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Planned out. Oh there's a big bird outside. Use the guard! I've got the guard on. Oh, oh. But it's going to be so so worth it. I've got something in my eye. I get something in my eye. I get something in my eye every day. Every day I get something in my eye. Tuesdays are almost like I'm not crying, I just yawned. Oh my goodness me. I just don't want my mic up. <laughs> Can't speak. No. Send me the will of man come. No. no. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. What love love? Not for me, man. Fucking hell! <gasps> Fuck off! No! Tiny Trust.